pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The thermos. Where should I put it? Put what, Tom Thomas? Oh, it's you. Uh, my ice cream. Are you joking? Eat it! I can't. Tom Thomas, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. It's just that it's a present for my mom. Today is Mother's Day. Then you need to go give it to her. I can't. Dad and I are going to congratulate her together. What's your dad going to give her? I don't know. But when he gets back home, the ice cream will have melted. Then put it in the freezer. And what if Mom looks in there and finds it? The surprise will be ruined. <sighs> so where won't she find it? I'll tell you where. Inside of your dad's office. I don't see any place to hide it here. There's no freezer or anything. Why don't you take a look inside the box? Here's a thermos, but what good is it to me? Thermoses are for keeping things hot. The ice cream will melt in there. It will not. A thermos is made by putting one bottle inside of another. Between the bottles is an empty space, and that's the secret of a thermos. That space stops heat from getting out or in. So if there's hot tea inside, the empty space doesn't let the heat from the tea get out. And if there's ice cream in the thermos, the space stops the heat that's outside from getting in. And that's how a thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. That's it. I'll go and play for a little while. He didn't even say thank you, did he, Nolik? Where are you, Nolik? I'm here! Where? In the thermos! What are you doing in there? I wanted to see that vacuum you talked about. Just don't touch anything. And don't even think of licking the foil. The ice cream's so cold, your tongue will stick to the metal. It's already stuck. What did you say? It's already stuck. Already stuck? Uh-huh. Try to unstick it. Well, is it working? Yeah. And what if you breathe onto the foil? <sighs> yeah. Hang on, Nolik. I'll go and get Tom Thomas. <sighs> Winter is a wonderful time of year. Holidays, presents, snowballs, skates, sleds. But the cold is also something serious that you shouldn't fool around with. The most important thing is to dress warmly. Cover your head with a hat and your throat with a scarf. Then there's less chance you'll catch a cold or get a sore throat. And to keep your hands from getting chapped, don't forget to wear gloves. And never walk around in wet shoes in the winter. That's a sure way to get yourself sick. And there's one more thing I want to tell you. It's great to have fun in the cold, but use your head. Don't eat snow or stick your tongue on metal fences, poles, or doorknobs. Your tongue can get stuck so strongly to the metal that it will be very hard to get off. I wish you all a glorious winter. Tom Thomas! Nolik's tongue got stuck! Where? In the thermos! Hurry! I'll explain everything later! Dad, you're already home? Mm-hmm. Dad, why are you taking my present? What do you mean, your present? I mean this one. Since when did it become yours? Oh, hi there. What's the fuss all about? Oh, it's nothing at all. I, uh, have a huh? surprise for you. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. A thermos? How wonderful. Thanks so much. <laughs> Is there something in here? I don't think so. <laughs> Inside, there's a present from me. Vanilla ice cream. 
My favorite. And how did that end up in there? <laughs> Thank you so much, my sweeties. No, like you got me so scared. Thank goodness you thought of turning into a screw inside of there. Uh-huh. Does your tongue hurt? Uh-huh. Do you think you can talk again? I can talk. Oh, that's good. We better hurry. We still need to go and wish our mother a happy Mother's Day. And you should, too. Many people wrongly assume that the only way Fixies could live is by stealing food off of humans' tables. Or worse yet, by stealing it from their refrigerators. That's just a lie. It's not true at all. Fixies don't eat any kind of human food. So then where in the world do the Fixies get their energy, you're wondering? It's very simple. A Fixie's entire life is connected with devices. Fixies not only live inside of devices, but they take care of them and help them live longer. And in return for their help, these devices share part of their energy with the Fixies. So there you go. The Fixies help devices, and devices help the Fixies. Yes, we Fixies and machines have a symbiotic relationship. So we don't eat leftovers like cockroaches, because we're Fixies. is used to capture sound that is then sent through wires as an electrical signal. And inside a pair of headphones, a membrane helps turn that electrical signal back into sound. So it turns out that a microphone and headphones are built in a very similar way, even though they are used quite differently. Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please 
don't let their secret out. The catapult. here. There's no way these toy soldiers could have shot it themselves. Now that was a good shot. It wasn't real long and not high either. And off target. It was pretty awful. It was good, but awful. I got it. So what do we do? We need to raise it up a little higher. Hey, fire, Nolik! Why in the world would you shoot at a fixie? Fixies? They're supposed to be in school right now. Actually, I'm on my way to school. How about you, Fire? Why aren't you in class? Because there it's totally boring. But here, look at what a cool shooter we found. Ha! <laughs> what did you call it? You've got no idea what this is. It's called a catapult, guys. A cat with gold eyes? <laughs> it isn't a cat with gold eyes. It's a catapult, guys. <laughs> Catapults are ancient propulsion machines. They were used to shoot stones, heavy arrows, or barrels with burning tar. The main part of the catapult is a special piece of rope. It is twisted very, very tightly like a spring. The rope is then wrapped around a big spoon. And then, if you pull the spoon back, put a stone in it, and let it go, the catapult fires a shot. Ooh, and the stone flies far, far away. Uh-huh. All right, so here we go. Ha! Ugh, came up short. What do you mean short? What are you aiming at? You'll see. The spoon needs to go further back. Just a little. Guys, you're going to break the glass. Nolik, now push. All right. Yes, right on target. Now let's fly out into space. Wait, what space? What kind of flying? Who's gonna fly? I'm gonna fly! Ha <laughs> ha! Right out the window! Right up to the moon! First fixin' onto the world, Nolik! Are you ready for your flight into space? Yes, sir! Nolik, get out of the spoon now! I'll be the first fixie on the moon! Yeah! Nolik, enough of this! What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke at all! He's gonna fly into space! And how come it's not you? Because he's lighter! Hold on! Humans didn't go straight into space themselves. They sent dogs out there first. Nah, Chusaka's not gonna fit in here. Simka, why don't you go and let us finish? Fine, I will go. But only after Nolik finds himself a helmet. Hmm, you're right about that. I'll go find a helmet. The catapult was invented in ancient times. But people still use them today. Only now, instead of launching stones, catapults are used to launch jet airplanes. You see, the runway on an aircraft carrier is quite short, so catapults are used to help the planes move fast enough to take off. Catapults can also be used to save the life of a pilot. When an airplane has an accident, a catapult activates in the cabin. The pilot is shot into the sky and comes back to the ground with a parachute. A plain old slingshot is also a kind of catapult. It's just a very little one. But be careful with this toy. It can be dangerous to others and to you, too. As for us fixies, the only time that we use catapults is on a peaceful mission. Pavus, hurry! Our Nolik's getting shot to the moon with a catapult! What? And if I meet new fixies up there, what should I say to them? Hi there. And you can ask them to launch you back. So... Let's do it! Fire! Launch it! Stop! Don't! Simka! Nolik! I'm not getting out! Ah! Whew! We're alive! Hooray! He flew all the way! Away. To the moon? Nope, just a bit short. 
it's not our fault. You're just heavier than Nolik, and that's why you came up short. Papus, maybe we can try one more time. What? Please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't.